What is going on, Charnero Nation? Charnero 300 here, bringing you PBL Stiff Preseason Week 2, Season 2. Anyway, I'm saying good luck and have fun to our opponent, Mr. Colton, Mr. OG Hypnotoad, Mr. Coach of the Anaheim. I'm so sorry. Coach of the Omaha, Oma Stars. Oma Star. Anyway. We're looking at his team, and I did not expect him to bring Bronzong, Hitmong Top. He didn't bring the Mega Charizard. He didn't bring the Manaphy. I feel so much better about this match. Uh, his possible bringings. Uh, he didn't, did he bring Azelf? He didn't bring Azelf. Oh my gosh. Is he just trying to test out Pokemon against me or what? Okay. All I know is that I'm probably just going to end up leading with Ping Pong. I do not have any uh, way to get rid of hazards, nor do I have any hazards myself. So I'm just going to open up with Ping Pong. Yo, it's Flo Rida. It's Flo Rida. It's over. It's over. He's just going to sing us to death. No. Big up. Did that much. Okay. Let's keep in mind that's technician boosted, so that's a 1.5 damage fake out. Well, that's actually times 2 the amount of damage it would normally do with stat bonus. Let's just say if Hitmon top went for fake out, it would do, like, against itself, like, same set, whatever, it would do that much. Like, half of that. See, only because it's minus 1, so it's basically just a 1.5 damage fake out. Honestly, I'm just gonna go into Scythe, because I do not want this Intimidate draw, and I'm not gonna be able... I'm not gonna be able to KO him from that range. That did 28%, then Last Resort should approximately do about three times that, because of Technician Boost, and three times 28 is not gonna kill. Honestly, I don't think he's staying in unless he's going for knockoff. I think the safe play is just a flamethrower. I mean, I could just switch out. You know, middle ground play. Middle ground play. Okay, I'm fine with him going out into that deck ever. I didn't. Okay. I'm fine with that. Mainly because now I could go on out into whatever I want. Why do I think that's going to be either ping pong or Urza? Something tells me to go out into ping pong. No, he's going for a wall type move. I'm pretty sure he's going to be going straight for the wall type move. If you guys hear the dryer in the background, I'm sorry, but there's nothing you can do about that. I'm so excited for this battle. Uh, honestly, if he's going for a wall type move, Urza should take it relatively well, but if it's special, it's not going to take it that well. Mr. Quigley, I think, is my best switch in. Okay, Mr. Quigley is the obvious switch in. This is toxic. Okay. He's not going to double toxic, and he's probably just going to go for either the ground or water hit move. Honestly, I'm just going to protect the scout, what he's going to do. Goes for stockpile. This guy's stealing my sets. Colton, can we just talk about this? I, I need to have a discussion with you later. Okay. Honestly, I'm just going to toxic him now. Yeah, 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 you keep stockpiling. Energy Ball's still going to take you out. Worst of the worst. Honestly, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to... No, I, he's going to stop piling up. I just want to get... He goes for recover. Okay. Earthquake. I'm glad I kind of went for Earthquake there. Okay. I need to switch, but into what? I don't know. Honestly, something tells me I need to switch into Mirror Gene for just no absolute re good reason. But... Ping Pong and Psy are going to be the only things that are going to be taking this out, and they're only coming in on the Switch because they're not taking damage. Uh, honestly? Okay, I don't like this situation. I do not like the gravity of this situation. I hope I didn't use that term correctly. But, uh, do you have leftovers? No, it doesn't have leftovers. See, this is hard for me. Because I don't know what to do. It's stockpiling. It all depends on what I think his next move is going to be. Do I think he's going to go for stockpile or recover, then Sai is safe? If he goes straight for the war type move, then I'm done. Honestly, I'm just going to protect. 
Okay, goes for the recover. And at this point, I need to switch out. It's guaranteed that I need to switch out unless I go for recover. Honestly, I'm just gonna go straight out to Mirror Jane. It's our special rule. It should be able to take whatever this thing is to deal, dish out. Oh, I'm sorry, my voice got low there, but. <sighs> anyway, it should be able to dish out anything that I'm able to. It should be able. I should be able to take whatever the thing dishes out, I believe. Oh! Oh! I'm just gonna straight for the Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave! Thunder Wave! Thunder Wave! Did. Ringer? Catch a Thunder Wave. And now. Honestly, I could go on to Psy and be in a pretty amazing position. No, I'm going out into Urza. Yes, Urza is the play. Yeah, I don't have uh, Earthquake on Aeron, and I wish I had Earthquake over Iron Head. I was, t I was thinking of it, but... I'm going straight out to Urza. This should be a no-brainer. See, look at look at how little Gyro Ball does. Not to mention, I was legitimately zero IVs and speed, negative speed nature with Mirror Jane, but it's still doing a well ton. This thing is slow. This thing is as slow as a slow poke on a slow day. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight for the knockoff. See, look at that. Oh shoot, I got a crit. I feel horrible. I don't feel. I got a crit then a full para. I'm sorry, I just had to type that. I was really sorry. I don't want that kind of stuff to happen. See, I don't know if it legitimately matters because it did 75%. Anyway, I'm just gonna U turn here. Boom. Okay, I KO'd it. And now I'm just gonna go back out into... Okay, let's think about this legitimate. What is... He has nothing for a well-played Ambipom at this point. He does not have anything for a well-played Ambipom except for he may be hip on top. And if he does have Intimidate... Uh, well, he does have Intimidate, but if he goes out into it, I'll just go fake out and switch out. There's nothing wrong with that one. Because I have the Cindy. Cindy, you're catching a fake out. Cindy, you're gonna catch that fake out. Rocky Helmet. Okay, I need to take this thing out. I'm done. Raise your hands! Wow! Wow! Well, now he knows I don't have two moves, but wow! Honestly, I don't think he's trying as hard as he would because it's just preseason. Because I know how close the battles, I believe. Uh, either this guy is scarred or he's banking on living a last resort from Ambipom. Okay, was Ambipom good against at this point? It gets taken out by a close combat from Infernape, close combat from a uh, thingamabob that does the job that the beauty bob and he hit on top of it. Weavile has a chance to outspeed this thing with Jolly. Fake out pressure is always nice though. Actually, you know what? He is scarred. That is good to know. He is Moxie scarred. Uh, I am not outspeeding him because I'm specs. A Aaron may outspeed. No, outspeed him. What do I go out and do? He has Stone Edge. Which, that's the frightening part. Honestly, we gotta go out to Urza and go straight for the knockoff. Okay? 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 You guys understand? So we have to get rid of that choice for If we do that, then we can go speed. This will be a good error. I don't know why I'm talking about this. We have a Russian Asian accent. It's a little bit of Spanish. I'm not so sure we have talking about this accent. How do we describe it? I can never try to make it worse. So, like this. We're gonna talk like this. Hmm. I'm putting him in a pretty rough place here. See, Stone Edge is neutral. He could be packing the Fire Blast. That is something I completely forgot. Holy moly. But the way that he's taking this long, I don't think he 
without the kids. Why am I still the beach girl? He switches out into Flo Rida. Flo Rida is gonna catch a knockoff real quick. Okay. That was an assault vest that we just got rid of. Now, the thing is, what's his speed stat and what's Urza's? If he's speed invested, I think he's speed invested. He's just carrying the assault vest just to have those defense. Honestly, I could take whatever he wants to dish out, so slow U turn and good U turn. PK, that hotness catches that U turn. Okay. Now, so I'm going down the side. Just because I can. And now, here is where the mind game's coming. Does he go out to Weavile, or does he stay in like a man? He's switching. He's switching. But is Weavile a switch? I don't think Weavile's a switch. He can't risk me going for the flamethrower. Honestly, Psychic is doing that. Hands in the air like you just don't care. Gotta wave him. Wave him. Wave him. You're gonna die now. Guaranteed this thing is dying. There we go. We got rid of Flo Rida, and we have a good 5-3 advantage over Colton, but don't underestimate him. He could come back. He could come back easily. The janitor is here. Okay. I get I get I get the point. He's trying to sweep. Uh, he's bright. Right. Sorry, that scares me. My insights are coming out. Honestly, what do you do? I think Bruce is the right thing. Okay, this is where I'm probably going to end up screwing up. I need to keep this thing alive. Because Infernape dies to Psychic, and uh, Salamence dies to, well, it could die to a Shadow Ball or a Psychic, it may take more than one. So this thing is really just good for Infernape. What else do we have to deal with Infernape? We have AA Rod. If I let this thing get sacrificed, no. I am acting stupid. This thing is choice specs for full HP. No, no. I am stupid. We go out. I think we have to sacrifice Mr. Quigley. Okay. We have to sacrifice Mr. Quigley. It's what has to be done. Knock off. It's going to take us out. Okay. It's okay. Now, there's no way that he's scarred unless he's running two scarfers. This thing naturally outspeeds Aeron if it's jolly. I'm guaranteeing if it's just jolly. You know what, guys? Let's do the calcs together. Pokemon Showdown. Ah, Pokemon Showdown. Pokemon Slash Down Edge There we go. Here we go, guys. Let's just say right there. We got the fail. Let's go OU you life orb. If he's jolly, he outspeeds up. He's, if he's adamant, if he's adamant, he doesn't. We're gonna bank on this. You know what? We're banking on it. AA Ron is a lot better than he looks. I can guarantee you that. And honestly, Stone Edge is hurting anything. So click Stone Edge. This is why you can't just send out AA Ron against anything. You have to send it out against the right Pokemon. And I'm sorry that we had to sacrifice Mr. Quigley to make that happen, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So, who lives in the pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! Just a SquarePants mother. I'm done. I'm done with this people. Done with all this. Okay, so what I'm gonna happen is that I'm gonna go and if for some reason he lives, okay, he's life orb. Yeah, he's life orb. Okay, it's all if he's either jolly or hurt. We're adamant. If we were jolly, we'd have speed guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, we have like 420 speed stat. No, 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 what? Oh, the four abilities and modifiers. Our mega form definitely outspeeds him. Okay. This for I shared. Didn't want to take the chance. Hey, my God. Okay, thank God. We won. I'm almost guaranteeing it. I mean, we can't just guarantee it. I know he's scarf. He's outspeeding us, and he's killing us. How do we feel about this? I feel like we have enough set mods to sacrifice to be able to win this. 
Worst comes to worst, Mirror Jane kind of walls both of these guys, so... He's gonna go for the Stone Age. How do I feel about this? How do I feel about this? You know what? For the sake of the battle, he misses. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Sparks, Aerial Ace, you're gonna die. That, that's GG, and I hate the end of that one. <sighs> I can't stand that. I honestly can't stand that. <sighs> Such a good battle, up until that point. Some could say I only won by Haxes, and I would Anyway, hey, hey Ron. It's like three-ish kills. Let's talk about this. How many kills did AA Ron have? He took out. He took out one, two, three. Po he took out three Pokemon. So that's three kills for AA Ron. He's three and up. Ambipom is at even. Mr. Quigley is at negative one. Psy is at plus one. Psy at plus two. No, Psy is at plus one. Who took that? Oh, Ambipom did. Who took that down? No, thing down. Who took that dingus down? Oh, so we have Scissor at plus one. We have Chandelure at plus one. We have AA Ron at plus three. Ambipom at neutral. Wagsire at negative one. Negative one? Does that work? Negative one. Either way, then it, like this would be negative one normally, but I think it's this way. It's like negative one. Anyway, he's at negative one. And Ambipom has a straight zip zero nada. I hope you guys enjoyed this day. Oh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about like win like kill death ratio anyway i hope you guys have a good day i'm kind of happy that i won but i'm kind of happy that i won it makes no sense let's go ponder about this some other time bye guys